Yay! Champion! I mean, yeah. We qualified for the Champions League. Very undramatically as well. Like, nothing happened. I was just pressing continue after the Real Madrid match, and all of a sudden this popped up saying, we qualified. I thought we already qualified, but I, I'm not quite sure. I mean, our fourth place was already secure, so whatever. It's official now, at least. And, uh, yeah, we have some budget. Not pretty bad, I would say. 167 million with 2 million per week in budget, uh, wage budget, but, uh, yeah, if only I could just spend it all, right, but, uh, yeah, you know the rules, but, uh, and so do I, I couldn't let that one slide, anyway, roll the intro. Right, welcome back, friends. Are you crazy here with more Danish dynamite? And uh, ah, it's pretty undramatic <laughs> end to this season, I would say. Uh, pretty much, I mean, we're guaranteed fourth place. We can, of course, if by miracles, we can even finish second. But uh, you've seen our schedule; it's not going to be easy. So it's pretty undramatic, except that we have some very, very tough matches. And speaking of, I mean, the first one was versus Liverpool away. We even got a red card right at the end, but yeah, we stole it. We stole the point with a 89-minute penalty from Christian Eriksen. Other than that, we were absolutely dominated. So um, yeah, definitely nicked the point there. Not that it really matters, I guess, but yeah. Now we play United and then Tottenham twice, and then Chelsea, of course, in the Champions League final, which is the important one, right? Screw the league now. We're going for Champions League glory. But before we get there, tough match at Old Trafford. Theater of Dreams or something, uh, isn't it? Is that what it's called? I can't remember all them weird nicknames, but um, yeah, this is the team that's uh, a little hit and miss here and there. We're we're still a bit knackered, still a bit injured, and now of course Hoybia is suspended because he got a red card in the last match, and uh, yeah, it's it's all a bit mm, tense. So I'm glad it kind of doesn't mean anything, but uh, yeah, this is the team. I mean, you have Jakobsen, Hansen, Nelson, Paulson at the back with Stenov in the goal, then Narci and Chukwani in the midfield, and then this guy. I mean, I showed him before, right? But he was just he was, you know, he came in in the first season, right, as a regent, but I, I didn't really rate him, and I think his potential ability has gone up significantly since I got him. Even his current ability is two and a half stars. Not too bad. I mean, he's so fast, so agile, good determination. I mean, 15 technique is definitely not bad either as an 18-year-old. That's pretty darn good. Good flair as well. You, obviously, you want to see some improvement there, but pacey hitman, apparently. I can live with that, so maybe I need to play this guy a lot more. So, uh, yeah, he starts this game with Ericsson then Damsko on the left and then Paulson up front and um yeah let's just hope for the best <laughs> yeah let's just say that we are underdogs and no one expects anything let's ooh see the very very inspired 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 and all sorts and uh, let's see what they are doing in terms of their team I mean it's pretty straightforward right Greenwood Rashford Fernandez Diallo then how is he developing actually I mean I know we're not that far into the game but yeah I mean he looks pretty darn good right. Anything else? Of course, they have Mr. Luis Alberto in midfield, but... I mean, that midfield is definitely to be... You can take advantage of that. Pogba and Luis Alberto in there. Who's this guy? Theo Endike Matam. Where does he play? From Oost Ende? I mean, he looks very solid, so... I mean, actually, does he really? It's not that amazing. And Juan Bissaka, and they have Upamecano, of course. They still have De Gea as well. What is he up to? Let's see. I mean, he must be getting up there now. 32? I mean, he's... Well... He's not as good as on the previous FMs, of course, uh, because of the slump he's had in real life, I assume. But uh, yeah, he's pretty, pretty good still. Here we go, kick off. Of course, United have. I mean, they've already won the league. Are they gonna actually? They should be taking it easy then. Let let just let us win then. We can. I mean, we can potentially finish third and with a miracle second. But uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Even the fourth place is, I guess, it's automatically qualified for the group stage of. Champions League, so it doesn't really matter, right? But, so, but I guess it's it's more moolah, uh, the higher you finish, and it's a bit of prestige in it. And I guess you get a medal if you finish third, but... Ooh, who, has, who was that, actually? Was it Green? No, was it? Rashford, oh yeah, sorry. Rashford got very close there. De Gea launches it forward, and it somehow ends up at Juan Bataga. I'm not quite sure, but United just recycle it now, and yeah, Diallo was picked up a knock, apparently. I mean, it can't be that big of a knock. He's just Okay, maybe it was since he finishes it like that. But uh, yeah, let's encourage the lads and hope for a bit, well, anything. Okay, did it work? Did my encouragement work? 
Ooh, that was tense as well. Okay, nice and easy, Ericsson. Ooh, that's a good ball to pose as well. Yeah, they, they are shutting us down. Okay, someone just shoot. <gasps> it's him? It's Peter Christiansen with his first goal of the season. I mean, it's, I think his second goal, uh, second match ever. So, yeah, of course it's going to be his first goal. But what a, what a strike from the lad. So he's over here lurking, I believe, right? Yes, there it is. And the first time with the left noise. Great goal, man. Oh, and immediately after, there's been some sort of free kick. Ericsson, come on, do it, do it. <sighs> close, okay, okay. I mean, it was close, I guess. Baby Gea launches it forward to Diallo, who's completely open there. That was not an amazing marking, and then we don't... Yeah, Pogba does Pogba things, sadly. Well, he does good Pogba things. There are good Pogba things, and then there are bad Pogba things. It, it, it's a bit random when he does one or the other, but... <laughs> You know, he surely does have that in his locker, so... A mm, bit fortunate there from Diallo, I guess, but eh, whatever. Right, and actually that is half time. Let's go, let's... I'm actually going to say I'm not happy for a change. Um, oh, hello. I accidentally said I was happy there, so that must have been very confusing. He's hampered by injury, but he doesn't look that injured, so... We're, we're just going to stick with this for now, even though some of the players are also starting to get a bit knackered. Ericsson with a corner. Er, Nelson! He actually scores! Woo! Goal from a corner, but we all know. It's because the highlight literally started with the corner, then there's always a chance, as this is a funky angle. Is it going to change in the last second? No, it's not. Great header from Nelson. De Gea cannot keep it out. Okay, let's focus. Yeah, another highlight, and, well, I was going to say it's definitely for us, but who knows, but... Woo! Paulson! I mean... <laughs> it was the good old Paulson to Paulson, but yeah. Well, seemingly every single highlight starts with a throw into either side, so this is exciting. Uh, Luis Alberto is now in. Uh, Hughes? Hughes? I wonder who that is. Let's. Well, I guess we'll check at some point. But good save from Stinoff. And the following corners, of course, these ones don't amount to anything, so let's just stop the highlight right there. Yes, no, I mean, they're, they're just kind of piling it on. Jakobsen, now don't do anything silly. You're on a booking. Like, ooh, Hughes. I mean, there he is again. Let's let's just find out who that Hughes guy is. Pause for a second. Dennis Hughes. Yeah, Regen. Is he actually from, yeah, he is from United. Well, you, United Regen. Is he this year? Ah, oh, he's been there for a bit. I guess they are taking it a bit, um, a bit well, easy, I guess, considering they've already won their league since they're playing a, a region up front, 17 year old, but hmm, I mean, I'm not complaining. I will say we're playing pretty darn well versus United, and I think that's a bit of a theme, right? We play alright versus United. Like Liverpool, they just tear us to bits. Same with the uh, City, like they just wreck us. Like the stats are like <laughs> 4 to 1. I mean, what is that? Dump score. Was that dump score? Yeah, it was. What kind of pass was that? I know I slag off Yusuf Paulson sometimes, but there is no way he's getting to that first. And you cannot blame him. Greenwood, oof, great defensive work from Chukwani. Are we going to get to that? I guess not. Hmm, this is looking eerie. Hughes in. <laughs> it was a clean tackle. <sighs> oh, tense, tense, tense. Imagine if this match, like, meant anything, then I would be... <laughs> Uh, I would be dying. Okay, we're going to need to make changes. So this guy's injured, but his fitness is alright. Chukwani is playing crap and is knackered. Let's get Christiansen on as the ball winner. Hmm, anything else? Damsko is playing crap. Let us get hmm, Darami out there. And Yusuf Paulson is playing like Yusuf Paulson. So Fagir up front. Triple change. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, and I just realized I completely forgot to actually change this at the start. But at least let's do it now since we are ahead. Let's put the fullbacks on a more supportive duty. As that immediately makes them have a highlight, I assume. <laughs> Good defensive work from Nelson there. 85 minutes gone. Elanga, who is the son of oof, an old Bonby hero of mine. Well, not really, a, but a cult hero in Danish football. Which is kind of funny, but uh, yeah. This match is just... I mean, are we actually just going to win? I mean, it puts us in a good position to finish 
well, third or something or whatever. Ah, uh, well done, lad. Yeah, very well done. Let's see. Sure, he played well. Let's just see the um, status now. I mean, 77 and 77, that is... Uh, that's pretty tense for the three spots there. But uh, does it even matter? I mean, now we play Tottenham twice. And Tottenham, as you can see, has had a bit of a resurgence. Let's actually see. What's their um, form like? Well, it's still a bit up and down, but at least they've come up from like being relegation fodder. So um, they must be doing better than NHD at least. So, um, yeah. What else? But yeah, as you can see, we did just play them twice in a row, which is a bit silly. But um, yeah, we'll fast forward to the next one, uh, to the first one of those. And uh, yeah, be right back. Right, and we are back after the little break you had there. Uh, sadly, our little hero there, Mr. Peter Christiansen, he's now actually injured. So it's still two, one to three days with a twisted knee, which is kind of a shame considering he played so well. But uh, that has meant a little bit of a rejig. Also, Hoibia is back so, um, from suspension. I'm going to play him instead of Chukwani, who was been knackered like recently so let's just give him a break also that so i've moved damsko out on the right and then put the rami on the left um with the whole christiansen deal and then i'm actually going to play fakir up front paulson has been crap the last few well i don't know how long also also yeah i almost forgot benjamin jensen because christian eriksen has just picked up a two to six day injury so that is of course good but then we can, of course, play our superstar, Mr. Benjamin Jensen, which is, uh, yeah, I mean, I want to see more from him, but, like, every time I give him the chance, it's a bit... <sighs> and then he plays badly for 60 minutes, and then I just end up putting Christiansen in instead. Uh, Christian Eriksen, sorry. God damn it, there's too many Christiansen and Eriksen and Christiansen, and they're, they're just all the same. But uh, <clears throat> Okay. So, well, uh, I guess nobody expects us to get a result. I mean, I do. Tottenham have been crap all year, but, of course... That probably means that finally when we show up, they're like, Wow, we are amazing, like the best team in the world. They have James Ward-Prowse, is he? Yeah. Oh? Oh, yeah, of course, I'm playing on the old database, yeah. Otherwise, he would have had 20 free kicks, 20 corners, which I absolutely love. But, yeah, he's not quite. Who's this guy? Andrea Betan, yeah. I mean, he does not look very impressive. Penalty, he's a bit of a target man. And then you're playing him alongside Harry Kane. That seems strange to me. You have Troy Perrett, shouldn't you just play him instead? Anyways, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Of course, he's gonna score loads of goals now that I've uh, slagged him off. Uh, we're focused, sure, all sorts. <clears throat> and we have kickoff. And, uh, yeah, as soon as I. There's a free kick from Ward Prowse. He's already on a yellow. Set him off. I don't know what it was for. Okay, that's definitely our ball. Nice, actually, from Pauls. And there to Hoybia. And the Rami is in. Go on, lad. Oh, go on. Oh, they have Onana in goal. Shouldn't he be banned? I mean, now nah, we're three years in the future. I mean, he, he would have been back by now. But bit of a, ooh, here goes close up. Well, mm, good, good start, I guess. As we are building for back a little. What, what have they done in the defense there? I mean, that was a great move. It was like pinpoint accuracy, right? Onana was rooted to the spot. All right. Well, he was probably. It was probably an injection. So Nelson, a free kick, and then Narty. Was it first time? Yeah, just first time passes. And then who is this? Mary Dimriel. That's not what you want to see from your star defender, just letting the man run. I guess maybe he expected Onana to come out or something. That's what the commentary said. But I don't know. I'm not complaining. It was a great move. Focus! Right, let's build from the back again, I guess. Um, ooh, of course, I'm always, wor I'm always worried as soon as we have the ball. Even if it touches one of our players, I'm worried that it's somehow going to lead to one of them. Uh, the opportunity to go. Benjamin gets is in. <gasps> and he scores. Uh, fourth goal of the season. I think he lets as many as Christian Eriksen, to be fair, so. That was a lovely goal, I believe. Yeah, Paulson just driving it forward, and then, well, I say driving, it kind of ta gets tackled, and then it falls to him, but then a great ball from Dorami. And then Benjamin Jensen, nicely done. Okay, we're almost at halftime, and Tottenham finally deciding to play football, or are they? Oof, that is some great hold-up play from us. Holy, when did we... Ooh, when did we actually start playing wonderful football? I'm not so sure. Or is it just the... Go on, Jensen? I mean, he does it again? I mean, that is... It's literally from the same position, right? It was a bit more fortunate this time, but... Holy moly, I just slacked him up before the match, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, he's certainly repaying me. Also, the Rami, like, he... It's not even his assist, I guess, but... The Rami has basically been involved in all three goals, I believe. Well, maybe not, actually. Well, whatever. He's been playing well. We've seen his name pop up loads of times, which is 
always what you want to see in there. Yeah, half time. I mean, what do you say? Let's just say uh, uh, might be winning, but it can also change. And then I'm very happy, very happy, very happy. Good, 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 good. Is Tottenham now trying? Are they gonna try? I mean, ooh. Maybe it's because, I know what it is, it's because I'm like a Spurs fan, right? And I have Tottenham safe going on as well on Twitch and stuff. So maybe the game is confused and it thinks I'm managing Tottenham. So that's why it's doing all those mistakes that just leads to counter-attack goals for as the game is freezing. Hello? Oh, well, I mean, what happened? I mean, I guess we're back. Uh, for the gears in? <gasps> Good save from Onana there, but holy moly, we are... Yeah, like I said, I think SI is confused. They think I'm the one, I'm, I'm managing Spurs here. But, uh, yeah, I'm not complaining. Deli Ali now to Troy Parrott. Are you going to shoot from there? Just do it. <laughs> literally passed it. Did, it's 100% official. We just saw it there. Parrott literally passed it to my player. So, yeah, SI is confused here. This is how you beat the engine. Well, I guess now they are... No, no, no. See, we just win everything. The fortunate things, okay, maybe I should just shut up because we keep losing the ball as well as I'm saying all this. And now Kane is great ball to Parrot. I mean, I did say you should stop fucking, you should bloody play to Parrot alongside Kane. I don't know why you would play that weird Italian uh, target man, but oh well. Okay, so so Kane, yeah, so Parrot, he just like skims his man. Kian Hansen, the 17-year-old or whatever, he forgets that he needs to mark as well. Yeah, so let's make a bit of a change. Narty is now struggling, so good thing we do have Jubwani. Should we actually put him on? Yeah, I think we should. He can grow, grow, in. grow in. He can. I don't know what I'm saying. And then let's get Mr. Rasmussen on on the right. He's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely not very good, right? He has 20 aggression. Teamwork is high. Work rate is high. So uh, yeah, let's just get. Is there another role, can't you? There should be like a defensive winger option on even us on the advanced one just have him like be annoying are they actually going to come back i mean there would be quite a comeback from them but oh, that was definitely going to be a penalty but it well i guess they crying out loud now the roles have reversed lads si has figured it out i'm the red ones and they know now oh. free kick from us from hoibia dimeral is now Realized that he's also a defender, so he's grown, he's learning, he's doing all them good things. Deli Ali driving it forward to Kane. I mean, skip. I mean, yeah, yeah, he probably should have skipped the ball there to someone else because that was pathetic. Then I'll just launch it to Demiral. You're not on the same team, mate. I know it's all confusing. Even the players are feeling it now. There's so much confusion building and skip. I mean, what is that? He literally skipped it in, inside Stenov or something. That was... Do we have a goalkeeper? Is, uh, everyone is confusing now. Everyone is confused, sorry. And everything is confusing. Skip. So he just <laughs> skips his man, literally, and then just, like, nutmegs the keeper. Is that a... Yeah, I think it is. Nutmeg. Okay, well, last sub. What are we going to do? I mean, it's all falling to bits here, isn't it? So I don't quite want to... Uh, Jakobsen is pretty struggling so let's just put another Christensen because of course right uh, uh, the, the guy who sometimes plays ball winning midfielder who's actually a right midfielder uh, right defender I, I'm I'm confused as well don't don't worry I'm sorry that I'm talking waffle here but I am as confused as you guys are and of course now we get an injury because we've just used all three subs and what do we do now just confirm just go I mean there's literally only 20 seconds left Surely, 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 surely. And there we have it. The most confusing match in SI history. And we win 3-2. Yeah, even, I mean, I'm still confused. But we did win the match. <sighs> so we're still fourth. <laughs> With 80 points. Same as City. I mean, we do need to score 13 goals to overtake them. Assuming that we do the same result. <sighs> and Liverpool... Probably not going to overtake them. Let's see the last, um, so the last week. So we play Tottenham. Of course we do, yeah, right? Uh, what, what else is happening? So City play West Ham at home. West Ham are bloody 17th. And they can actually get relegated. So maybe, maybe. But uh, who else was it? Liverpool. Liverpool away to Leeds. Never easy, but... <sighs> well, I wasn't planning on showing the last matches, like, right? 
I was just going to do a one-off special with the Champions League final, but I kind of feel like we need to see the last match just to see where where we end up in the league and then also to see if SI has, is still confused over the whole Tottenham team. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you liked this weird, weird, weird episode. And if you did, please press like and subscribe and all that. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.